real solutions to money, relationships, wellness, and more. Shine a light onto your day and into your life. Power your life with Dr. Joanne White. Good evening and welcome to Power Your Life. I'm Joanne White, your host. We are in the middle of winter and it seems like the snowstorms, the icy roads, and the frigid temperatures just won't quit. During these difficult months between the holidays and the warmer days, many people experience what's known as the winter blues or SAD, seasonal affective disorder, and people also may develop anxiety or depression. Dr. Kevin Caputo of Crozer Keystone, sorry about that, Health System is here with advice on how to cope with these issues. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Are you surviving these winter blues? I'm <laughs> surviving the winter blues as best as I can. Well, you are very impressive. You actually have been voted top doc in 2011, and you work with a lot of adults who are going through SAD and having a lot of difficulties and challenges during this time. What do you prescribe to them in terms of philosophy and support? Well, I think it's very important for people, patients, to actually do a lot of common sense things in the winter, such as exercise, eat healthily, avoid alcohol, avoid caffeine, avoid substances. So avoid or just like because people are, people are saying, oh, avoid, right? So just at least minimize them, right? You're absolutely right. I'm a realist. <laughs> I think minimize as opposed to eliminate. Okay, Correct, Dr. Good. White. No, that's, that's great. That's important. Now, I love what your philosophy is all about, too, because you really work with your patients and really want to find out a lot more information about who they are. And often, many doctors, many physicians think that they have all the answers and I love the fact that you work with your patients and you just decide that it's really a very mutual kind of relationship to help them discover what's going on. Yeah, I see myself as a team member enabling the patient to find out what is wrong with them and how we can fix it together. I don't have all the answers, I don't profess to have all the answers, but together my patient and I as well as family and support systems try to figure out what the problem is and how to fix it. I think that's important. Uh, now, I, um, I have a question because a lot of people do feel down and out during this particular time. Th there's not enough light, it's cold, people don't want to go out, it's dangerous sometimes, even icy, and the roads are, are dangerous. And the question is, how do you know the difference? How do you know when somebody is really going through SAD versus it's just time enough to, to change the weather and do something else that you've, you've been suggesting? Well, I think we're all tired of the winter. We're all tired of the cold. We're all tired of the lack of uh, light, you know, too right. much darkness. Right. I think when it becomes symptomatic is when it's interfering with daily life. For instance, um, if you're eating too much and you're sleeping too much and you don't have the energy that you had during the summer or spring months, then we would call it part and parcel of a syndrome, seasonal affective disorder. And when people have that, what do you recommend? My first step is a non-pharmacologic approach. Good. We try to exercise, we try to eat healthily, we try to minimize <laughs> the bad things like drugs and alcohol right. and caffeine. Um, and sometimes just talking therapy helps get them out of it. Sometimes it's going on a little vacation if possible. Wouldn't that be nice right about now? Awesome. <laughs> you also recommend, and, and I looked at some of your notes, you also recommend that people, if they can, go out during the afternoon and get some of that afternoon sunshine so that it really helps them bring in more light. What if they can't do that? What could they do at home, Dr. Caputo, to, to help bring in more light? People can buy light boxes, and light boxes are typically um, boxes that have 10,000 lux, the level of brightness of light. They're not ultraviolet, they're not you know, any type of dangerous light. Right. They're full spectrum light. And they can expose themselves via reading or sitting at the table with this light box for 20 minutes a day. And that will take the place of being outside for 20 minutes a day. What could they do to their home to, to help them? 
They create can more light. brighten up the home by opening the blinds, opening the windows, just to get some daylight in. Also, just have some cheery things in the house to look at. That's always very helpful. I love to keep that kind of stuff around my where, where I'm working, with my computer, where I'm writing, so that you can when you need to take a break, you turn around and look at something that's really pleasing and, and just very gentle on the eyes. Now, sometimes people come to you, they don't necessarily have SAD, but many baby boomers and many people are suffering from depression or just aside from the winter blues. Again, what do you recommend other than pharmaceuticals to, to help them move past that? When they come to me, I always want to treat my patient without medicine if possible. So first we kind of explore why the person is depressed. We don't have to go back to infancy. We look at stressors that are current in somebody's life. We try to bring in loved ones who can either help validate or help explore some of the things that the patient's telling me. And we do a course of therapy, talking therapy, just trying to understand what it is, coping strategies, um, helping them shore up some of their own defenses to feel better. If that's effective, great. We're very happy we've succeeded. When that's not effective, we will use a pharmacologic approach. And again, sometimes all that wonderful stuff and recommendations and remedies just don't help. Relationships are so very important, making sure that people are keeping up with their families, with their social network, and also making time for themselves, like you said. So what else? Let's say somebody comes to you and they, they've gone through medication. What else do they need? What, what else would you recommend? Sometimes if medication is not effective and the talking therapy is not effective, I will recommend either couples therapy or family therapy. The couples therapy or the family therapy engages people who know the patient well and may be the source or the solution for the depression or anxiety. That's really, that's really important and a good point too. And so relationships, like I said, are key. However, it's also about what you've been talking about, getting outside, just, just like you recommended that for SAD. It's also very important for depression and just feeling good during these challenging weathery times here. So feel good, get out, exercise. And you also mentioned keeping your house at a certain temperature. What's, what's that about? We find that the warmer you are, um, within reason, the more effective that is in treating the winter blues. So there are some studies now that show it's not just exposure to light, but exposure to heat as well. Well, I love it when it's warm. So thank you so much, Dr. Caputo. You've been a pleasure. Thank you for having me, Dr. My, White. My pleasure. Coming up on Power Your Life, legendary music industry and broadcasting pioneer, Carl Rudman. As we go to break, here's a clip of Carl with iconic wrestler Hulk Hogan. But I'll tell you what, I wouldn't spend any more time with you either. All right, now we heard the opinion from the peanut gallery, a man demeaning the Philadelphia women. He's obviously never been on Chestnut Street. <laughs>